I think some people may not know the difference between a snub and a carry roller or return idler. A return idler, a belt doesn't have any wrap over, it just skims over the top, so zero degree wrap. A snub is a roller that has something like 20, 30 degree wrap, so you actually have heavier duty bearings because of the load of the belt going around it. And a snub has more tracking ability than a return idler, so that's what you're going to be using to track your belt. If the belt throughout the whole conveyor is off to one side of the conveyor, then you're going to start by using one of the snubs at the infeed or discharge near the end pulleys. And it's the snub that the belt gets to right before it goes around an end pulley that has the greatest tracking ability versus the other end where the belt goes around the end pulley and then around the snub. And then you also have a snub at each end of the drive before and after the drive. And then a larger 11 16th hex shaft snubber in the drive. But you'll be using the snubs near the end pulleys first to track. 